Hi guys, and welcome back to CFOP Cubing. Today, I'm going to move up one level from Beginner OLL and talk about Tulook OLL. With Beginner OLL, you only need to memorize two algorithms, but with Tulook OLL, you have to memorize 10. The thing about Tulook OLL, though, is that you're only going to have to do a maximum of two algorithms to solve all of OLL. But in Beginner OLL, you may even have to do an algorithm up to five times. If you're planning on trying to solve the Rubik's Cube as fast as possible, I would highly recommend learning Tulook OLL, and I'm going to be going over each of the algorithms here and try to make them as easy as possible for you to learn. So to start, once you finish F2L, you need to do OLL, and so what you're going to need to do first is solve the yellow cross. You should already know how to do this from the beginner method and beginner OLL, but if you do not, I'll teach you right here. So we don't care about the corner, so we don't care if yellow's facing up or a random color, doesn't matter. Um, but we are just going to be looking at these edges here. If none of them show yellow um, on top, right next to this yellow center, then we're just going to do this algorithm from anywhere. It starts by turning this front layer clockwise like this, and then doing a trigger, which is an algorithm that you should know. It's called the sexy move, and it goes like this. And then you undo this F move with an F prime. You may have gotten this right after you finished F2L, or you may have it now, and in either case, you're going to put those in the top left like that, and you're going to do the same algorithm. And now we have the edges across from each other. You may have gotten that from the start, or maybe you have it now, and either way, you're going to hold it so it's horizontal and not vertical like this, and then you're going to do that algorithm. And now we have the cross. And now there are seven different things that could come up on this now, different orientations of the corners, and I'm going to teach you every case and how to solve each one. The first two cases are these cases. They're called soon and anti-soon. The first one is called soon. It has one yellow corner facing up like this, and then the other three are random colors. When you put this yellow corner, in the bottom left like this, this corner here should show yellow on the front. If it doesn't, then it's the anti-soon case, and this one is solved a little bit differently. But if it does, then we're going to do this algorithm here, which you should already be familiar with. Move this side up, move it over, bring the side down, move it further, you're going to bring the side up, move this twice back into the slot, and bring it down. For the anti-soon case, you're going to put this yellow corner in the bottom right, and then the yellow should face towards you. You're then going to do the same algorithm, but with your left hand. It goes like this. The next two cases are these ones. There are no yellow corners facing up on either. The first one is called H, and it's called that because these two are facing towards you and away from you. Some algorithms use it so they face to the sides like this, but the one I'm going to be teaching you is facing towards you and up, so it looks kind of like an H. This one is pretty easy to execute. The way you do it is you turn the front side clockwise like this, and then you do that same trigger that you learned at the beginning three times. and then you're going to undo that F move. The other case is called Pi. It's called that because two of them face towards you, and then two of them face to the sides on the top. So it kind of looks like the Pi in math. This one you're going to hold like this, so that these two headlights, they're called, are facing to the left, and then the ones on the right are facing down and up. This is how you solve this case. You bring the side up, move it twice, down, twice, then move it over, bring the side up, enter that piece, bring it down twice, and then enter that one into the back. Now we have these two cases, where two of the corners are yellow, and they're right next to each other. For the first case, 
it has these yellow pieces here facing up and down when you hold these two yellow corners to the right. The way you solve it is like this. You kind of do a sexy but with these two layers. So you're going to do the two layers up and then you're going to finish it off like you normally would. Move this side over, bring this side down, bring this side over. And then you're going to bring both of these layers back down and you're going to do an F move. Then you're going to bring this side up and then undo that F move. The other case has them pointed in the same direction. And the way you solve this is you're going to put them so they're facing towards you and these ones at the back. And you're going to bring these two layers up, or not two layers, but just this side, move it up twice. Then do a D move like that. You're going to bring the side down once and do a U2. Then bring it back up and do a D prime move. Bring it down a little bit, a U2, and then bring it down again. The final case looks like this. There's two corners here that are yellow across from each other. You're going to hold them so that they're in the top left and the bottom right like this. And then these two you should be able to see from this angle right here. One should be facing towards you, the one on the left here, and the one on the top right is, should be facing to the right. You solve it the opposite way you would solve this case here. And you're going to go like this. You're going to do an F move, and you're going to bring this layer down bring this back and then you're going to bring two layers up like this and then you're just going to undo everything move this over like this bring the side up bring this side over and then bring the two layers down all right and that's tulip olo not all of those algorithms are the best to use they're just easy to learn and memorize so i probably will make a video in the future with the best algorithms Still, none of those algorithms are bad, and I would still recommend learning them. Other than that, thank you for watching. Leave a comment, like this video, subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.